Good morning guys, Anjani Kumar here, dealing instrumentation subject for a final year electrical students. Right. In the last session, we completed our concept of capacitive transducer. Right. Uh, till now, we discussed about uh, different types of a passive transducers. Right. In that passive transducer, uh, we in detail discussed discussed about um, a resistive transducer. Resistive transducer. So, what is a resistive transducer? You can find your non-electrical quantity by changing the resistance by measuring the changing resistance. Right. By measuring changing resistance. So we can call it as a resistive transducer. So what is the inductive transducer? So we can measure the non-electrical quantity by measuring the change in the inductance, right? Change in the inductance. We can call it as an inductive transducer. Uh, what are the different types of inductive transducer? Single coil, multi coil inductive transducer that we discussed in detail. What is the application advantages of inductive transducer also we discussed in detail. After that, we started a capacitive transducer, right? So, what is a capacitive transducer? It measures a non electrical quantity by measuring the change in the capacitance. So, this type of transducers we can call it as a capacitive transducer, right? Change in the capacitance. So, we can call it as a capacitive transducer, right? Different uh, how the capacitance will change means by changing the uh, permeability by dielectric constant by changing the area by changing the distance within the plates right we did all all the things that we discussed in detail and after that by changing the distance of the plates definitely will get the scale is a non-linear scale how we can make that scale is a linear with the help of differential in the capacitive transducers right how the capacitance will change uh, with the help of a circular plates when you take a circular plate for a small displacement measurements that we discussed in detail after that we discussed about uh, what are the advantages of capacitive transducer disadvantages of capacitive transducer and discussed about some applications also so these are the different uh, types of a passive transducers right in this uh, the most important question uh, resistive transducer definitely will get a question and inductive transducer somewhat uh, we don't expect right as we won't expect in you know board exams so another definitely the capacitive transducers is a very very important concept in this resistive transducer you will get the question rtd how the resistive temperature detector will work <laughs> definitely they'll ask uh, these type of questions right so these are about uh, the passive transducers how it will work and all these things that we discussed now very very important concept right so the concept is lvdt very very important right very very important concept uh, so will you please uh, follow this video definitely will get a question right So linear variable differential transducer. So in this, I would like to explain. So what is LVDT? Right. What is the meaning of the statement linear variable differential transducer? Right. So why we can use these type of instruments? All right. After that, what is the construction details? Construction and we'll explain the parts each and every parts all right so after that uh, working principle working principle and after that we discussed about advantages disadvantages and some applications 
right so these are the contents that we are going to discuss in lvdt right so in this we'll discuss what is lvdt what is a definition why we can call it as lvdt what is a statement meaning right uh, why we can use these type of lvdts right and discussed about the construction uh, different parts also we, we will discuss and after that working principle and then advantages disadvantages and some applications right now so linear variable differential transducer so we can also call it as a lvdt in a simple form we can also call it lvdt right it can be used to measure the displacement right it can be used to measure the displacement right so lvdt which can be used to measure the displacement so it is nothing but inductive transducer it is inductive transducer right so how the inductive transducer work by changing the inductance change in the inductance to measure the displacement we should we should make uh, the change in the inductance right so how the change in the inductance that will happen will change in the flux right so we can also call it as lvdt right so it is nothing but a inductive transducer how the inductive transducer will work by changing the flux right by measuring the changing the flux right which is used to measure the displacement how the displacement which is converted the displacement which is converted to change in the flux and it can be measured with the help of a voltage so whatever the displacement which is converted to the voltage right in this process the uh, uh, the brief thing right how the lvdt means the lvdt is nothing but linear variable differential transducer it is used to measure the displacement how the displacement which is converted to the electrical how the displacement which is converted to the electrical voltage or current whatever it may be right it is nothing but inductive transducer how the inductive transducer will work by changing them by measuring the change in the flux right? changing the flux is nothing but changing the inductance itself right now i just want to explain the statement so first is a linear variable differential transducer transducer nothing a transformer right i made a mistake over here differential transformer not transducer right so linear variable differential transformer lvdt right so what is a transformer right why we can i i just want to explain each and every component in a statement right so what is a transformer right like a transformer in lvdt also we have a primary winding and secondary winding so that's why we can call it as a transformer right like a transformer which is having a primary winding and secondary winding right that's why the transformer uh, statement is here that right? what is a differential right whatever the output uh, which is difference in the secondary voltage so the whatever the output voltage that we are getting which is a difference difference in the difference in the secondary voltages so that's why we are getting a differential right how you can get the differential means difference in the in the secondary voltages right so the transformer means like a transformer this lvdt also having a primary winding and secondary winding that's why we can call it as a transformer and what is a differential means whatever the output voltage from the lvdt is nothing but the difference in the secondary voltages that's why we are making a statement as a differential so what is a linear variable that means whatever the displacement if you want to find out which is a linear motion that means linear not the rotating motion only linear motion so that's why we are calling linear displacement which is converted to the voltage 
so it is called as LVTT that linear variable means linear motion it is nothing but a linear displacement linear variable means linear displacement right so whatever the linear displacement which is uh, uh, analogous to the output what is my output uh, the differential output so the displacement which is converted to the voltage so that's why this we can call it as a linear variable differential transformer i hope it's clear by the transformer means like a transformer lvdt also having a primary winding and the secondary winding right so then why differential means whatever the output of lvdt the output voltage which is directly proportional to the difference in the secondary voltages right that's why we are making making as a differential what is a linear variable means we are obtaining we are giving a linear motion linear displacement uh, linear displacement which is converted to the output voltage so that's why we are calling as a linear variable differential transformer i hope it's clear the statement is clear right so why the lvdt uses the lvdt used for a displacement measurement right it is nothing but inductive transducer so how the inductive transducer will work it in it works on the principle of by changing the flux if you're changing flux is nothing but changing the inductance itself right so that is about uh, the brief introduction of lvdt now we'll discuss about uh, the construction how the lvb lvdt is constructed right we'll discuss about construction right so the construction so how the lvb lvd i am not uh, good at uh, that that much drawing you just follow this we can call it as a primary winding right so this we can call it as a secondary winding so we have a two secondary windings 
alright so this we can call it as a soft iron piece right is this is nothing but arm so where your displacement is given it input so this we can call it as a frame former or a forms let me me enclose circuit right i will explain each and every part right so this is the construction of a lvdt right which is having a primary winding and the and here we are having a two secondary winding all the primary and secondary windings are enclosed in a form right and which is which is having a soft iron piece right which is connected to the arm so where your displacement is given right so when you when you give the displacement your soft iron pieces will move and uh, the total the total lbdt is enclosed in a uh, steel frame right steel frame for a protection of we'll discuss each and everything so this is a basic thing how the lbdt is uh, in a construction part right here i'll explain with like this is the total construction of lvdt here the primary winding is there and two secondary windings that can be placed right <clears throat> so this is a primary winding actually the thing is uh, whatever the displacement if you want to measure the displacement that can be applied to the soft iron piece all right so the primary winding which is uh, excited by the alternating supply the ac supply when a primary winding is excited by the ac supply definitely the magnetic field will be developed around the secondary primary winding so the flux will be developed these flux links with the secondary winding which are uh, close to the primary winding right so when the flux linked with the secondary winding the voltage is developed in the secondary windings the voltage is across this uh, uh, prime secondary one winding voltage and secondary two winding voltage you will develop so when whatever the displacement uh, uh, if you apply to the soft iron pieces the change in the um, uh, voltage is you will measure the change in the voltages the change in voltages which is equal to the displacement so the basically that is the operation that we discussed further as you the basic thing it is whatever the displacement uh, if you want to measure the displacement that can be applied to the soft iron piece there is a primary winding and there are two secondary windings the primary winding is energized by the ac supply the flux will be developed the flux links with the secondary windings uh, nearer the secondary windings then definitely the secondary winding voltages will be uh, there when when whenever you move your displacement that definitely the voltages will be change how the voltages will be change we'll discuss right that my by my measuring the changing the voltage which is equal to my displacement right now we'll discuss about construction features right 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 there are one primary winding it can be denoted by p so it can be denoted by p right and two secondary windings s1 and s2 right so there are one primary winding and two secondary windings and the two secondary windings are in sort same number of turns same number of turns right whatever the turns in a s1 which is equal to the uh, turns in a s2 so both which is having a same number of turns and which are equally displaced from either side of the primary right equally displaced from the primary right 
so there are one primary winding which can be denoted by P and two secondary windings which is denoted by S1 and S2 right these two secondary windings which is having a same number of turns whatever the number of turns in S1 which is equal to the number of turns in S2 right so these S1 and S2 equal distance they can placed uh, equal distance between primary and primary right so whatever the distance from primary to S1 is same as a primary to S2 right so and then the next one is <coughs> the soft iron pieces right soft iron piece which can be placed at the middle of the LVDD middle of LVDD initially right initially whatever the soft iron piece play piece we can place at the middle of the middle of the LVDD these are the construction details right so soft iron piece made up of with nickel nickel cadmium right the soft iron pieces that can be made up of uh, high permeability nickel right which is having high permeability high permeability right so the soft iron pieces made up of nickel cadmium which is having high permeability and hydrogen annealed hydrogen annealed right <clears throat> so whatever the soft iron piece uh, whatever the soft iron piece that can be placed in the middle of the lvdt initially right so which is made up of nickel and cadmium which is having high permeability and it is hydrogen annealed so why we are making this this is a hydrogen annealed means is it can be eliminate the harmonics presence harmonics elimination right so why we are making hydrogen annealed means hydrogen annealed means hydrogen uh, definitely this type of uh, disc ni mount che own che untam anamata so that is nothing but hydrogen annealed so why we are making hydrogen annealed means harmonics elimination and the second one is for a high sensitivity for high sensitivity to lvdt right so why we are providing high hydrogen annealed means it can reduce the harmonics contents in the lvdt and after that uh, it provides a high sensitivity so this is about soft iron piece the soft iron piece that can be made by the nickel cadmium which is having high permeability and hydrogen annealed why we are providing hydrogen annealed means which is having uh, it can eliminate the harmonic components and after that it provides high sensitivity to the lvdt and right i hope it's clear right whatever the primary and secondary windings that can be placed in a former for a protection right so this we can call it as a former right former so where the primary and secondary windings that are placed in a former highly magnetic former right primary and secondary windings are placed in a former all right for a protection all right so high magnetically former right so whatever the total content uh, either primary windings to secondary windings on soft iron pieces hold or fully enclosed by a steel right so whole system whole system is enclosed by by steel layer right so whatever the stone whatever the whole system like a primary winding secondary winding software and pieces and all the components are enclosed by a metallic steel layer right metallic steel layer right so this is these are the construction features of a, a lvdt so what are the construction features these are two one primary winding and two secondary windings the secondary windings we can be represented by s1 and s2 the secondary windings which are having a same number of turns right whatever the distance from the primary to s1 which is equal to the primary to s2 and these primary and secondary windings that are placed in a former and and we have a soft iron piece 
right and the soft iron piece that can be placed in the middle of the lbdt at initial position uh, these soft iron piece that can be made by the nickel and cadmium which is having a high permeability material and the hydrogen annealed so why we are providing hydrogen annealed means it can eliminate the carbonic components it will, it will gives a high sensitivity to lbdt i hope it's clear right and whatever the whole system primary and secondary windings is uh, soft iron pieces that can be placed uh, in a steel metallic steel layer enclosed in a metallic steel layer so for a protection of uh, environmental conditions right we'll discuss all these things right so this is this is about a constructional features and after that now we discussed about uh, the working principle right right so what is a working principle i'll clearly explain the working principle step by step i'll explain right right the primary winding is is energized by by ac supply all right so whatever the primary winding which is energized by ac supply means definitely in a primary winding the flux will be developed magnetic field will be developed flux will be developed right these flux links with a links with a s1 and these flux links with a s2 right both are same distance and generates the voltage e1 we can call it as a e1 generates the voltage we can call it as e2 right so whatever the differential voltage so whatever the differential voltage delta e is nothing but e1 minus e2 so that's why we are calling a differential transformer right the output voltage of a transform transducer is nothing but a difference between the uh secondary voltages so what are the secondary voltages e1 and e2 i hope it's clear so what i did means you just apply a ac supply to the primary winding okay definitely the flux will be developed these flux links with us s1 it will generate the voltage that voltage we can call it as a e1 and these flux links with the s2 and generate the voltage that that we can call it as a e2 what is my output of a transducer is nothing but change in a voltage so whatever the output of a transducer this is called output of a transducer right change in a voltages e1 minus e2 right i hope it's clear up to now 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 your soft iron piece at zero position right we are not moving a soft iron piece from this it is very important right the first soft iron piece at null position and zero position we are not moving your soft iron piece right see you you are not moving your soft iron piece so the displacement is x you are not moving so this is at middle point right now you apply your primary voltage the flux will be developed these flux links with a secondary voltages and generate the e1 e1 voltages v1 e1 and these flux links with a s2 and generate the e2 all right so whatever the voltages because whatever the flux from here and the flux from here it will be the same na we are not moving your we are not moving your soft iron piece right whatever the flux links with the primary which is equal to same as the flux links with the secondary that means this is same number of turns and this is same number of turns the flux linking also same that means whatever the voltages across e1 and e2 both are equal voltages na so that means whatever the differential voltage so s1 is nothing but e1 s2 is nothing but e2 right 
so here the flux links with the primary to secondary primary to s1 and primary to s2 is the same flux and the same number of turns and e1 is equal to e2 right so what about the delta e delta e is nothing but e1 minus e2 that is equal to 0 i hope it's clear by 0 now you are not moving your soft iron piece right now you apply your primary the flux will be developed this flux links with the second secondary windings s1 and s2 s1 to any flux link out s2 kuda ante flux link out that means both are identical right identical terms and both are uh, equal distance from the primary so definitely whatever the voltage across s1 which is equal to the s2 at null position if both the voltages are equal means what about the differential voltage the differential voltage equal to zero i hope it's clear right now the second soft iron piece moves on the left side soft iron piece moves left position right now see clearly my soft iron piece moves in a left position see okay moves in a left position now you applied your now you are applying a displacement with the displacement your soft iron piece moved moved to the left position now you applied your alternating current in the primary side so definitely what happened the flux will be developed these flux links with us s1 generate the voltage these flux links with s2 generate the voltage we'll see so whatever the here at middle point right now you are moving your arm to the left side so when moving to the arm left side that means whatever the flux the total flux here s1 will increases why because the soft iron piece moves to the moves to the left side which is nearer to the s1 na. so whatever the flux linkages from uh, soft iron pieces and uh, s1 right so whatever the flux linkages will be increases if the flux linkages will be increases means whatever the voltage across s1 will be high when compared to the voltage across s2 initially whatever the flux initially initially both are having 10 10 flux right so soft iron piece at middle position now you are you you are moving your soft iron pieces to the left position that means nearer to the s1 now what happened there will be a change in flux right so you you apply a displacement with the displacement your iron pieces move to the left, left side definitely there will be a change in flux so that means the flux value here 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 8 flux here 12 flux and here 8 flux right that means your flux is increasing in s1 because which is nearer to s1 right right your piece is nearer to s1 so whatever the flux which is high when compared to the s2 right so your the flux is high means whatever the voltage across s1 is high that means e1 is high when compared to e2 so s1 is e1 s2 is e2 left side move which is nearer to s1 so that means whatever the e1 should greater than e2 your delta e which is equal to e1 minus e2 that is a positive value right change in voltage is a positive voltage right so positive means so whatever the voltage that that you applied under the primary so this is a ac supply that you applied uh, the same phase whatever the change in voltage which is equal to the same phase because it's a positive now but suppose if you apply um, sine wave like this right if it is a magnet is 5 volts the sine wave that you applied so when you call it when soft iron pieces moves to the left side definitely the change in voltage that should be a positive now definitely that is also like a same phase difference same phase but the magnitude will change if it is 8 volts whatever it may be but the phase is same phase from zero it's it's also starts from zero itself i hope it's clear all right now another condition you are moving your soft iron piece to the right side
right side right you will see here now you are moving your now you apply displacement you are moving your soft iron piece right side so right side means whatever the flux in s1 will reduce right so whatever the flux in s1 reduces moving the right side means whatever the flux in s2 will be increases that means more flux here and less flux here so that means whatever the voltage in s2 that is nothing but e2 which is greater than s1 right so that is called e1 right s1 e1 s2 e2 so after in miss moves to the right side so definitely e2 greater than e1 I hope it's clear. So, what about the change in voltage? Delta E is nothing but <coughs> E1 minus E2. So, that means it's a negative value. So, whatever the negative value means, the change in voltage negative means, so it is 180 degrees opposition to the supplied voltage. Note. 180 degrees phase opposition. with supply voltage but suppose if the supply voltage is like this right if the supply voltage is like this and uh, whatever the voltage that applied to the primary so like this right now you will get your differential voltage with the help of soft iron piece moves on the right side definitely it will be a phase opposition It was whatever the change in voltage. Right? It's a phase opposition. Right? I hope it's clear. Right? That means whatever the displacement which is which you applied either right side or left side, definitely the change in voltage is, is there now. So how the change in voltage came by applying a displacement? So whatever the change in voltage that you measured now difference between a voltage which is equal to the displacement so that my my displacement which is converted to the voltage so that is nothing but uh, displacement which is converted to the voltage is nothing but differential <coughs> that is nothing but uh, uh, transducer right so that means we are moving a linearly not up and down na? linearly variable differential transformer I hope it's clear whatever the displacement which is converted to the voltage voltage so that means which whatever the displacement varies now your voltage is changes that means both are linearly variable right that's why we are calling a linearly variable if you vary the dis if you vary the displacement your voltage will be changed if you vary the displacement voltage will be changed so that that's why we can call it as a linearly variable from output to input relationship is a linear variable right so that means linearly variable right i hope it's clear i'll explain one more time <coughs> When a soft iron piece at null position, at null position means zero position, we are not moving uh, soft iron piece. So whatever the voltage that applied, that developed in S1, E1, S2 is E2. Both voltages are equal. There is no change in flux, right? Both voltages are equal. That means whatever the change in voltage is equal to zero. Now you are moving your soft iron piece left side. So moving a left side means whatever the flux will be very high here the flux will be very less so that means whatever e1 is greater than e2 that you will get the positive voltage by moving a left side so there is no phase displacement which is equal to the uh, whatever the voltage that you apply to the primary right and uh, when you move your soft iron piece right side definitely whatever the flux in s2 which is greater than the s1 so that means e2 greater than the e1 whatever the differential voltage that you are getting which is a negative that means phase opposition to the supplied voltage all right so that means uh, how you are getting a differential voltage means by varying the displacement 
so that means your displacement which is converted to the differential voltage your displacement which is converted to the voltage right so what is the voltage and uh, what is the output and input relations you apply a displacement your uh, you, you just apply a displacement your voltage will be vary it's like a linear relationship i hope it's clear so this is a working principle and the operation right now what is a scale how the scale will be will discuss right <coughs> how the scale will be will we'll see correct right. i said earlier so the output voltage and the displacement is a linear relationship but not for the linear not not the linear right not not that much linear up to some extent up to some point of displacement only that means up to 0.5 mm displacement up to 0.5 mm your scale is a linear after that uh, you won't get the linear scale right how the graph will be means residual voltage so up to here only you will get the linear relationship right so this is a at a displacement zero position you will get the zero voltage na right but actually so graph will starts from here but basically graph that starts from here all right but actually at null position x is equal to zero position whatever the differential voltage that is a zero so that's why the graph starts from zero but practically that not starts from zero but there is some residual flux is there due to the residual flux there will be some voltage that's why it starts from some point so i i explained both the points right basically starts from zero but not it will take some voltage from that it will start right see now you are moving your software in piece left side so left side what happened definitely even greater than e2 na right so delta e is a positive na so you are getting a positive value right up to this portion which is a linear after that it is a non linear so at what position 0.5 mm right so 0.5 mm your displacement is a linear up to 0.5 mm your displacement is a linear after that it will be a non linear displacement right so when move on to the right side so definitely what happen e2 greater than e1 na so when e2 greater than e1 means 180 degrees phase opposition This is nothing but whatever the opposition, but whatever the supply voltage, sixty degrees opposition on that, sixty degrees on that. Go definitely will get the sixty degrees, zero degrees on that, zero degrees, right? One eighty degrees phase opposition to the applied voltage, right? I hope it's clear. So up to point, yep, point five mm only. So point five mm, if you vary the distance point five mm only, you will get the scale is a linear value. after that you will get the non linear all right i hope it's clear how the scale and what it will be right see this is a point you have to understand 
at uh, x is equal to 0 position so what happened x is equal to 0 that means you are not moving your soft tire in peace but the voltage is a delta is nothing but 0 but we are practically we are not getting the voltage practically we are not getting the differential voltage is 0 with the help of there will be a residual flux so with this residual flux there will be some voltage developed so from that it is not starts from 0 itself right Right. Now we'll discuss about what are what is the factors for a residual voltage for a development of residual voltage. The first factor is the harmonics. The harmonics in the applied voltage to the primary. Right, whatever the harmonics uh, that are present in the system when you apply the AC supply to the primary side so that harmonics will develop develop these residual flux and so whatever the voltage that you are generated with the help of soft iron piece right when you develop a voltage that definitely there will be a change in voltage now in that also harmonics present that harmonics also oh, reasonable that harmonics also oh, responsible for development of residual flux right harmonics developed from from changing iron core iron piece right so these are the main factors for developing these type of residual flux I hope it's clear this is uh, uh, the construction working principle and uh, scale of that uh, uh, linear variable differential transformer right now we'll give a brief point right so we need to know right so whatever the displacement displacement which is nothing but changing or else a difference in the secondary voltages right right so that means whatever the displacement which is converted to the electrical sub electrical voltage right and second point so whatever the voltage that coming out from the uh, transducer coming up for the differential voltage you know, if you vary the displacement definitely you will get a differential voltage so these differential voltages will give to the controller right this controller will control the software in piece also okay you moved your software in piece definitely there will be a change in uh, change in voltages these voltages can give to the controller the controller will make uh, will make that uh, software in piece, piece comes to its first position null position right i hope it's clear nothing is there <coughs> Software and piece moves so definitely change in voltage so chindi. So these change in voltage you directly gives to the controller. Control ranges and again with that voltage the control ranges the again okay software and piece move in the and it it, it will make that uh, uh, make uh, your your software and piece comes to its original position. So for that also whatever the voltage that can be used right controller. will work with the change in voltage from the transducer to make null position to make a software in piece to null position Right, so this is also one of the good thing that you'll get uh, that you are getting in your LVDT. Right, I hope it's clear. This so these are the whole concept of uh, uh, LVDT. Mm, what is a uh, LVDT and uh, why we can use and what is the construction of LVDT and uh, what is the working principle of LVDT and after that. Um, after that we discussed about uh, the scale of LVDT and some important note right now we'll discuss about advantages and disadvantages of LVDT 
Ahorita. First advantage is of right. The first advantage is <coughs> the LVDT is used for large displacement, used to measure the large displacement, right? So, displacement about, about uh, 0.125 mm to 250 mm also so we have a LVDT that can be used to measure the large displacement right so from 0 0.125 mm to 250 mm also so that is one of the large range large range of the displacement right and also it is used for small range of measurement also small range of displacement also so what is that value? Zero point uh, zero zero three meters also three mm also. So we can also measure the displacement is about uh, zero point zero zero three also. <coughs> so LVDT that can be used for large displacement measurement in the range of point one two five mm to two fifty mm and also it can be used for a small range of uh, displacement like that is nothing but 0 0.003 mm also this is one of the advantages and another advantages right friction and electrical insulation Right. right so there will be a proper electrical insulation between the primary and the secondary primary and s1 primary and s2 right a soft iron you don't have any touching pot from soft iron pieces to the primary and soft iron pieces touching to the secondary so there is no friction friction points and proper insulation that is going to be maintained so with that there is no there is no wear and tear wear and tear in the instrument instrument and there is no damage to the instrument damage to the instrument all right so all these are uh, friction there is no friction means there is a uh, losses will be very less less right so these are the friction and electrical insulations right and after that one more advantage is it is it is enclosed to be a metallic steel now it is enclosed by metallic steel means definitely it will free from environmental condition condition it is free from environmental conditions like temperature variations right uh, stray magnetic field stray magnetic and stray electric field so we can protect the system from uh, environmental conditions like temperature humidity right uh, uh, stray magnetic field stray electric field we can protect the system from uh, enclosed uh, enclosed by a metallic uh, sheet right so the the lvdt which is having a high output impedance high output value so it will gives high sensitivity also right so lvdt which gives a high output value we can measure a large range of output voltages from the high bd high lvdt and it will it is used for a, a high sensitivity and a high repeatability also right repeatability Repeat, repeatability also more right and it is a more uh, uh, 
rugged in construction rugged in construction right so rugged in construction means is there any electrical shocks any outside shocks that happen in a system um, it, it doesn't affect uh, uh, affects to the lvdt right so any shocks outside lo meke emana shocks gaani electrical supply failures aina kuda uh, lvdt will be more protectable so these are the advantages of lvdt so what are the advantages it is it can be used for a large range of displacement it can be used for a small range of displacement also up to point not 3 mm also we can measure up to 250 mm also we can measure with the help of uh, these lvdt and definitely there will be there is no mechanical movement right from primary to secondary and all these things definitely the friction will be less and there will be a proper insulation between the primary and the secondary there is no physical contact uh, uh, from the moving iron to the um, primary and secondary so that means there is no wear and tear uh, there is less damage to the instrument and after that losses will be less because there is no friction existing in the system the friction losses will be very less and after that uh, it can be enclosed by a metallic steel na so that means it can be protected from the environmental condition like temperature humidity stray magnetic field stray electric field also we can protect the system the lvdt which is giving high output impedance that means the output that you are getting from lvdt which is a very high and very more sensitive right repeatability it should be very high and more rugged in construction that means more rugged means is there any severe electric shock happened in the system that won't affect the lvdt <laughs> now we'll discuss about disadvantages so it is not uh, that much accurate not that much accurate accurate for it is not that much accurate for what you call uh, for a large displacement right not that much accurate right so definitely it will affects with vibration vibrations when vibrations happen in the system this will this will give the uh, wrong results it will affects by temperature variations right so it's develop hysteresis loss hysteresis loss means uh, input vary chestha unnam you are getting the output right increasing order lo you are giving the input you are getting the output so by taking a decreasing order your results will be different so these are different different disadvantages that you are getting in lvdt right now we'll discuss about the applications right what are the disadvantages not that much accurate uh, temperatures variations vibrations which na pudu right uh, uh, hysteresis loss present ay unta the system so these are the different disadvantages for lvdt what are the applications right right so this can act as a primary transducer and it can act it can also act as a secondary transducer right so primary transducer means whatever the voltage whatever the displacement that you given you will get the result voltage secondary transducer means right first when you apply a force force will be converted as the displacement that displacement which is given to the lvdt then lvdt will gives the will gives the output voltage in terms of force and pressure calculation but suppose if you go for primary transducer means if you go for primary transducer just give the displacement directly convert convert to the i'll explain here clearly right primary transducer means right one step right so give the displacement 
will give it your old days. Also, you can use this type of prime uh, LVDT. In secondary transfusion means you won't correct, you won't directly get. But suppose if you want to measure the force or pressure, force or pressure. Right? You just apply. You know, board and tube how it will work. You apply a force which is converted to the displacement. Then this displacement which is given to the LVDT. So then it will converse the voltage. Right? Whatever the force which is converted to the voltage. Right? So this is called a, this is called a secondary transducer. Right? So it can be used for a primary transducer. It can be used for a secondary transducer also. So this is the whole concept of uh, LVDT, right? So what we discussed means, what is LVDT? What is the statement of LVDT? Linear Variable Differential Transformer. So what is a transformer which is, have, is like a transformer which is also having a primary and secondary? The differential means you are getting a, a voltage output which is a difference, difference, difference in the secondary voltages. Linear variable means linear motion which is converted to the voltage. Then we will discuss about uh, it can be used for a uh, displacement measurement. <coughs> it is one type of inductive transducer. Right? So after that we discussed about the con construction, how the primary winding which is having a two secondary winding, one soft iron pieces is there. <coughs> right? Uh, so after that, uh, whatever the voltage that you applied, a primary winding, definitely the flux will be developed, changing voltage produces, according to the changing voltage, your displacement well will be measured. At null position, from left side and right side, we discussed about all these things, working principle and operation. After that, we discussed about the scale of LVDT, um, how the residual flux developed, we discussed. Um, after that, what are the... Mm, advantages and what are the disadvantages and what are the applications of LVDT uh, this is about the whole concept of LVDT thank you for now <coughs> uh, in the next session we discussed about the strain gauge right thank you very much